Alrighty, this is a very special edition of Self-Publishing with Dale right here on twitch.tv slash self-publish. And if you're watching this on the replay in the Facebook groups, we definitely appreciate if you stick around to the end because my friend here, Martin, is going to be sharing something very exclusive for you folks, but you got to stick around, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and just lay the little bit of the groundwork today because we're going to be talking a little bit about book marketing for self-published authors. And uh, today's guest is actually a longtime friend of mine and actually one of my very first interviews over on the YouTube channel, Self-Publishing with Dale, and his name is Martin Crosby. In a press release, Amazon called Martin Crosby's debut novel, My Temporary Life, one of their success stories. His self-publishing journey has been chronicled in Publishers Weekly, Forbes Online, and Canada's Globe and Mail newspaper. Martin's recent release, The Dead List, a John Drake mystery, was awarded a publishing contract by Kindle Press. That's actually been a little bit since that, that's happened. He's also the author of My Name is Hardly, book two of My Temporary Life trilogy, and Lies I Never Tooled, a collection of short stories, how I sold 30,000 ebooks on Amazon's Kindle. That's enough to grab your attention right there. An easy to follow self publishing guidebook. And Believing Again, A Tale of Two Christmases. Martin was born in the Highlands of Scotland and currently makes his home just outside of Vancouver on the west coast of Canada. But today he's actually calling from the beaches in the United States. Martin, welcome to the show. How are you feeling, man? Good, Dale. Nice to see you. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm on the beach in Anacortes, Washington. We're we're in our motorhome. Book Doggy and I have been running on the beach and uh, talking to some authors and putting some books into the Book Doggy newsletter. And what weather is very mild. It's very nice here. So yeah, it's great to be with you. Thanks for thanks for doing this. I'm envious of you, man. Like right along the beach right now. I'd love to be there with you, but I'm in spirit. Uh, my wife and I love uh, the West Coast and love being on the beach. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's good reason for us getting connected because, I mean, it's been a long time since you and I had chatted and a lot has changed in both of our lives. And you and I kind of just got to talking about your originally kind of like it was like a small pet project, which was Book Doggy has now become is so much more than a pet project. It is it is a full-blown business and such. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, I do want to go over and address the uh, live chat people that are here right now. Uh, Kevin Barry McGuire says, uh, Washington is his home. So you're in his home right now. Um, right. Uh, also, Thomas A. Bradley's here. Good to see you joining us here. Um, and anybody else that's lurking about, please uh, keep in mind that Martin's going to go ahead and answer any kind of questions. But I've got some questions I want to ask him first. So uh, we will get to those and stick around to the end again because Martin's got something exclusive. It's time sensitive. All right. I told him, I was like, can you extend it? And he's like, no. So we're going to make sure that we deliver the goods here towards the end. So, all right, let's back it up a little bit. All right. You had a book that was what? Number two in the overall Amazon store, correct? Uh, number three. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. I remember you were like in the top 10 for sure. So, which is absolutely insane. So... Dude, what's the secret sauce? How did you become one of the top 10 best-selling books in all of Amazon? It was a pretty crazy time, Dale. Um, it was uh, the beginning of 2012. And I, I've told this story many times. And, and I apologize to anybody listening that, that's, that's rolling your eyes and saying, oh, here we go again. But I think it's, it's good information. I'd written a book that I thought was pretty good. Um, my test readers were coming back and, and the overwhelming response that I got from them was, do you have any other books? So I thought, well, I, I must have written something that people want to read, but I couldn't sell any books. And, and I looked at other, other, uh, books in my genre and they were selling. And, and, you know, I looked at, at, at guys that were just flying like Robert Bid and Otto, who was doing so well. And I thought, well, I'm going to reach out to Robert. It's a different genre, but I'm going to reach out to him and send him a copy of my book and, and see what he says. And I was so fortunate that Robert got back to me. Uh, first of all, I was very fortunate he got back to me. And secondly, I was very fortunate that he told me the truth. He said, uh, he said, you know, I haven't read your book, but my wife has read it and she likes it very much. And uh, uh, you have some problems. You have a cover that is not indicative of your story. Uh, you have some loose editing. And you have a horrible blurb or synopsis, the, the description of your story. So he actually kind of wrote a little mini blurb for me that I used for a long time. And he made some other suggestions too. And he said, you need to make these changes. So I made the changes and instantly I was connecting with more readers. Um, from then, 
I caught a lucky break in that uh, Amazon's uh, uh, program where if you offered your book for free and then when it back went back to retail, uh, you got a really healthy jump in the rankings. That doesn't happen as much anymore. But then were the days. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I hope to talk about that a little bit later with you. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, those were the days. Um, so I, I caught a really good break there. And my book uh, flew up the, the charts and stayed there for a while too. And it gave me some great visibility. Now, unfortunately, I'm, you know, I, I can't pump books out. I, I'm a slow writer. I, the, yeah. the muse takes me where the muse takes me. And uh, so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get the next books out fast enough. Um, my, my, my books uh, that were released after that did fairly well, but nothing has come close to the numbers that I did with that, that first book. But the key thing was, was the presentation. You know, there's, I, I, I received a letter from a book doggy subscriber some time ago and I, I reprint parts of this letter in newsletters from time to time. Yeah. And it, I'll paraphrase, of course, but it says, um, you know, I, I looked at uh, the book that you guys were featuring and I couldn't believe that you would feature such a book. It's got a crappy cover and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, but then the reader says, I, I bought it. It was free book. I, I downloaded it and oh my goodness, their words, am I ever glad that I did? It's such a good book and such a good read. And they raved about how good a book it was. So many of us have these great stories that we've told very well, but our presentation isn't perfect. So yeah. presentation is so important, as, as you know. Oh, absolutely. And, and the, the old adage of, you know, people will judge a book by its cover. This is absolutely the, the case. And uh, I know that you and I are going to venture towards that direction. I have a, a question I, I'm going to bring up here pretty soon. But that is, that's really cool. Uh, so let's get right to like what I brought you on here today because um, oddly enough, folks, like Martin, you're going to do this, like point down like this, point down. That's all you got to do is just do this point down. That's Martin's website, bookdoggy.com, all one word. You're going to visit that link right there and he's actually got some information for you there. Um, I've actually used Book Doggy quite a bit and uh, oddly enough, Book Doggy was one of the first sponsors of Self Publishing with Dale, and that's why Martin holds a very special place in my heart. Um, you know, and I really, honestly, am very, very thankful. And he's actually given quite a bit of a leg up for some independent authors as well through Book Doggy. So, for those that aren't familiar with Book Doggy, Martin, can you tell me what is Book Doggy? How does it function? So, Book Doggy is uh, we have a daily newsletter uh, that goes out to our subscribers, plus a website. Um, plus, we have a, a social media guru who looks after our, our Facebook page and, and interacting with, uh, with, off, with uh, readers. Um, we keep the newsletter um, to no more than a dozen books. So we try and really focus on, uh, on the authors and their books. So basically, it's a, it's a newsletter uh, uh, website that promotes ebooks. Now, is this for authors or is it for readers well it's for both we we okay. we're author driven and 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 we take our reader suggestions so it, it's for both we um we uh uh look after our authors of course by offering uh all kinds of things that we don't think everybody else offers uh we uh we link to the series page we uh, uh link to multiple vendors so instead of just amazon we'll link to uh Kobo and Apple and and uh, and so forth um, and we offer different things you know we <clears throat> excuse me we work with some small publishing companies too so we're approached from time to time um, with with uh, uh, different requests we had a request last week that one of uh, an author was involved in a voting process um, to have her book considered um, by the movie industry. Um, so it was kind of a, a cool thing she was doing. So we featured her book and linked to the voting, uh, the voting link so that our subscri subscribers could go and vote for her book so that it could possibly be made into a movie. And we sure moved her up and got her some votes. So we're open to doing all kinds of things to help our authors connect with, with readers. And basically, that's what we're doing. We're just the in-between guys helping the two connect. 
we also uh, uh, have the author's either website or Amazon page information on the on the uh, book doggy feature so that uh, the authors and readers can connect. Nice, nice. I, I know that it's, it started out slow, but it's really grown pretty pretty big for you, though, over it's the last couple of years, right? It's taken over my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's so funny how it's, it feels like almost like I was starting my YouTube channel the same time you were doing book docky. And I think yeah. that we've kind of grown almost along the same paths, though. Uh, um, so, crazy question. You're an author. Why the heck did you decide to start a book promotion site? <laughs> um, well, <clears throat> I had somebody ask me yesterday, I, I was telling them about how well Book Doggy were, was doing, and they said, did you do any research into, into how to run a book promotion company before doing it? And in a way I did, because I was promoting my own books through yeah. every site and every social media outlet you can imagine, um, yeah. as we all do, hours and hours and hours trying to find somewhere else that there's a, a bunch of readers that we haven't connected with yet. So I did lots of research um, and I, I came across a lot of, of uh, book promotion uh, platforms and outlets. And I, I often think to myself, I could do a better job with that. <laughs> um, and that's how it kind of began. And, and I thought, well, I, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so that's how it began, and uh, I, I came up with a structure that I thought would uh, attract uh, uh, readers and authors, and we just started flying from there. And you're right, it, um, it started out consistent, and it's grown and grown and grown. And I've been involved in different businesses over, the, over my, my working lifetime, of course, as, as many of us are, and uh, I've never... And anything that's grown as consistently as this, you know, by the way, congratulations on hitting 25,000 subscribers. I saw your post the other day. And Thank you. It's amazing. So I, I'm so proud of, of what you've done. Um, and, and Book Doggy is the same. It's, you know, I look at, at February this year as opposed to February last year. And I, wow, we're up, we're up, we're up. And it just keeps growing and growing. And there's no dips, you know, we, we keep connecting with, uh, with readers and we get such beautiful emails from readers thanking us and i'm proud to be a book doggy subscriber and so it's really you know we feel like we're doing something to, to help authors and help readers too that's so cool you you have two different types of users and you're able to meet the demands of each one of them awesome work on that all right so i'm going to shift gears a little bit here and ask you what are some best practices for running a book promotion so obviously book doggy is definitely going to be one of them but what are some other ways that i need to be doing some book promotions um we had an author recently who uh um we had two of them actually very recently who uh hit the usa today bestseller list nice and uh yeah it, it's good to see and one in particular and i can get you the link i'm not sure if i <clears throat> sent it to you or not um has a, a she processed out how she did it and book doggy was part of her her process book bub was also part of that of course and uh and interacting on social media and and so forth so uh um there's lots of information out there in terms of how you can do it um we we uh promote free books or discounted books sometimes regular price books a regular price book is promoted for visibility most people aren't going to buy a book at $5.99 or $3.99. And, you know, I used to see ads at those, or I used to receive submissions at those um, prices. And I thought, oh, boy, what are they thinking? Now I'm thinking a little differently about that. I've got a lot of respect for somebody that's going to ask $1.99 or $2.99 or $3.99 or $4.99 for their yeah. book. Um, we need to get the value up. We need to show the value. And we need to stop with the, the 99 cent books because, you know, the, the work that we're doing, it, our, our work is certainly worth more money. So I've got a lot of respect for people that'll ask that kind of pricing. And we're certainly not uh, afraid to ask um, uh, those higher, and it's still not a high price, those higher prices for, for um, a good piece of literature. So, but basically we look at, at regular price books as a visibility ad. Um, a 99 cent book is um, gonna gonna get you some 
some uh, sales and move you up the, the charts. And a free book is gonna, you're gonna give away, we're gonna give away thousands of books if you promote a free book with us. It's gonna move you up the free charts and then when it goes back to retail, you'll get a bounce in, in terms of your sales. So that's basically the three ways that we offer uh, uh, for advertising. And we encourage our, you know, our rates are very low. Our, our pricing is very low. I think yeah. I told you that many times before. I was like, dude, this is really cheap. And, and we, <laughs> I, we're staying there. We're staying there. We want to make okay. it affordable for everybody. We also have a no charge option too um, that, I'll, that I'll explain to you. But we, uh, oh, okay. we keep our prices low so that you can run with us and run with several other sites too at the same time. Um, over a over a period of time to get visibility to your book. Our no charge one, I'll throw it at you real quick, is um, we'll run an ad at no charge if you have a subscriber base of 3,000 people or more Ooh. and you mention our free draw. So uh, we, we do give away prizes all the time. We give away e-readers and we're giving away a tablet right now and, and uh, different prizes. So if you mention our free draw in a newsletter to your 3,000 plus subscribers, We'll run your ad for free, so you know it's it's pretty affordable. Dang, that's a new one. Actually, I didn't know about that. That's no wonder you've been expanding so fast. I imagine with something like that, you were able to bring in a lot more readers and authors. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Wow. What are some common mistakes you get when authors submit their books for reviews? Because I know you told me that you just won't take any old book off the street. It can't be hammered garbage. So what's some common mistakes you see and how can the authors better present these things to you when they're submitting for a book review? Unfortunately, we see over and over mistakes in the blurb uh, or the mm. synopsis. So we'll see grammatical mistakes or, or just errors in in the in the synopsis and i i think what's probably happening is uh, most of us are using an editor and then we'll write our own synopsis and we're so excited to get it out there that there's mistakes i can tell you 30 percent of the books that we receive have some kind of error in the blurb um, so we'll we'll fix it and contact the author and work with them to make it uh, to make it right so that's probably the 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 number one mistake that we that we see in terms of submissions, if that's what you're asking me. Yeah, this, yep. And, um, and cover, you know, you know yourself, cover is so important. And there's so many talented cover designers out there now um, that you really have to invest the money and and uh, and, and uh, have them create a cover for you. It's something that, um, you know, you're gonna have for a long time. And that's the door that opens uh, to the reader. So we will take, you know, if, if we will work with authors, if they're on a super limited budget and the cover's poor, but we think that the, we want to get the book out to people, we have a saying that um, maybe their next book will be Catcher in the Rye or, or Harry Potter. You know, so we will work with authors that are new authors. We had a 16 year old boy uh, contact us a couple of days ago, and there's things lacking in this cover and the synopsis. We helped him rewrite the synopsis. Um, wow. Because there's a lot of, we looked at the, the story that he's written and there's just so much promise there, you know, even from the look inside part, there's just so much promise. So well, we want to encourage this young person to go yeah. and write Catcher in the Rye as his next book. So, so we'll work with authors to, to get their work out there. That's really cool. That's so big of you. And uh, um, got one more question and sure. we're going to share with everybody what, what the, uh, the nice special limited time offer. Um, so easy question for you. And I promise you, I'm not baiting you on this one here. No problem. When should an author stop marketing their book? Um, when should an author stop marketing their yep. book? I, I don't think you ever stop marketing. Um, you can take lulls in between, yeah. you know, and enjoy the inertia when you've, you've built something up and it's rolling. But I don't think you should ever stop marketing. My first book, um, yeah, I'll give you an example. My first book, My Temporary Life, uh, came out in late 2011. And uh, I'm, I'm giving a talk at the end of April. And uh, the, the talk is on uh, book promotions. But the, as part of this group, uh, it's a it's a live presentation or a, an in-person presentation as part of this group they also interview authors and the, the 
the moderator said, I want to interview you about my temporary life. And I said, well, I've got a bunch of other books. And she said, no, no, I want to go with my temporary life. So I guess I'm still um, marketing and promoting a book that came out, you know, almost 10 years ago now, nine years ago. Wow. So I don't <laughs> think you do stop. There's, and I'll tell you something. Um, we monitor the top uh, selling books on Amazon every single day. Yeah. Every single day. So I'll give you a challenge uh, to, to your, your followers and listeners. Check out for the next week, go to Amazon's top 10 best selling books, free and, and paid. And look at the release dates of those books. You're going to be really surprised. Not all of them are new releases. Many of them in the top 10 uh, best selling books were released five, six, seven, eight years ago. There's lots of new readers out there that have just bought a Kindle or a Kobo or whatever their device is, and, and uh, they don't know us and they don't know our book. So, that book that you uh, published several years ago still has lots of life in it. So expose it to all the new readers that are out there and check out those those um, best selling ranks. You're gonna be really surprised. Not everything's a new release. Nice, nice. I'm glad you uh, uh, said it that way. Uh, this is really awesome. Uh, very good chat. I wish I could talk to you all day long. I want to make sure we go over it to uh, the viewers. Got a good handful of people hanging out with us over on Twitch. Facebook is still not cooperating with us, not surprising. But um, it doesn't look like we have any kind of questions. So I guess I want to get to the point of the special limited time offer for the viewers. Uh, what is it? How do they get it? And when is the deadline? We have a wholesale pricing um, price point for advertising that we're going to offer to you guys. It's 20% off our, our um, I hate to sound like that a carnival barker 20% <laughs> off our already low price. Um, so we're going to get 20% off uh, our advertising. So that brings, uh, if you're advertising a, a discounted book, um, it brings it down to $16. Um, and if you're advertising a, a, a free book, it brings it down to, have I got my math right? 1440. Um, so yeah. it's great pricing. So we're going to offer that. Uh, all we'll ask is uh, when you when you submit uh, your book in the comments section, just write Dale uh, so that we know that uh, you're going to receive the 20% off. And I can't remember, Dale, how long we were going to run that for. What did I commit to? We're going to run it for, for the, next the, next next <laughs> the next five years. Today is the 17th. So um, is a week. Does a week give us enough? I think you were saying yeah, originally uh, to do a full week. So until the 24th. Okay, so we'll run it to the 24th, and we're happy to do that. We hope we see lots of submissions from you guys, and uh, so that gives you 20% off. Uh, we've also got the no charge feature there, if that works better for you. So Excellent. Well, yeah. uh, again, point down here, like at your chest, right there at your yeah. collarbone, bookdoggy.com, and I think actually it's forward slash four dash authors if you want to go right to the author section, but bookdoggy.com, go over to visit that, and remember to put inside the notes, he says, put Dale, so that way he knows where you're coming from. Um, I don't get any financial kickback on this one. Uh, Martin's my boy and I like to help him out because he's helped me out so much. Um, so there's no affiliate link. So I, I want everybody to really get uh, the, the most from Martin's services because he's really, really helped out a lot of authors. I know even uh, Kevin Barry McGuire even said that um, he actually benefited from your services at one point. He actually got his first bestseller using bookdoggy.com. So there's a good testimonial for you. Thanks, uh, Kevin. I see a couple other people just kind of popping in here. Um, Sherilyn says, so my five book series written eight years ago still has potential. Oh, absolutely. What do you think? Absolutely. Yeah, That's get good. it out there, Sherilyn. It's, uh, and and I'm, I'm sure she know if she has a five book series, I'm sure she knows how to market it. Um, what we see most people doing are, is offering book one for free or 99 cents and then retail for the other. We're going to link to all five books so that uh, our readers can get to all of them. And uh, yeah, a five book series that uh, that came out a few years ago, that's exciting. Get it out there for people. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty, they're going to check out uh, Book Doggy for sure. Um, I see <laughs> Twitch is, is um, uh, censoring any kind of websites. But you guys can see again, it's right below Martin's face right there. It says bookdoggy.com. So you can definitely go over and take a look at that. Martin, um, so where can viewers find you? Um, 
my, personally, uh, uh, I have a public Facebook page. So Martin Crosby, Crosby is C-R-O-S-B-I-E on Facebook. I, I love, okay. <laughs> I love saying, saying hello there. Um, or, or just email me through Book Doggy. I'm, I'm there. There's myself and Daniel and Shay Lash, and uh, uh, we're a, a compact little team of three people looking after uh, authors and readers. Someone said, uh, terrific advice, Martin. Uh, definitely appreciate everything that you've done for me and today. Uh, so listen, as much as I'd love to take up more of your time today, I really do appreciate you doing that. And I don't want to keep you away from that beautiful, like yeah. you guys can't even get like a full picture of this because unfortunately we tried to go full view. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Right on the frigging coast right there. How beautiful is that? You guys can't see my dog, but my black lab is right by my feet here, and she's ready to go. Nice. Uh, Thomas Bradley says he will definitely look into this. So uh, you, awesome. Very good. Martin, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate all you're doing for the indie author community, and I appreciate you contributing right. this nice little goodwill thing here for everybody with the self-publishing with Dale family. Any last words before we disconnect? No, I once again, congratulations on your success. It's so nice to connect with you. I love this. We're both doing so well and you're helping so many people and we're trying to help people. So it, it's, it's awesome energy. What a great way to start the day. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Well, hey, folks, uh, if you definitely enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor. You're going to end up sharing this on social media. So if you're on Twitch, you're going to hit that little share button that's down there. Put it on Twitter. Put it over on Facebook. Put it on Instagram. Take a screenshot. Share it with your mom. Share it with your dog. Share it with anybody else. It'd be really awesome. And of course, if you're seeing this in the Facebook and the replay and such like that, um, leave a comment. We definitely will keep an eye on some of the questions and concerns and comments and such like that and make sure we get back to you. In the meantime, between time. This has been Self-Publishing with Dale and on behalf of Martin Crosby, everybody take care now.